Hi everybody, I'm Marie Cooty and this is Dogography. Uh, this is a book about dogs, but every single dog is created using the letters of its name or its breed's name to be more accurate. So for example, the Jack Russell on the front cover is spelled with the J A C K. Can you find the R U S S E L that make up this picture? Every picture inside, every dog inside is made with the letters that spell their name. So it's a puzzle and I hope you enjoy reading it through with me and finding all those letters. Okay. So here we go. Dogography. The amazing world of letter art dogs. Can you see the letters? Every part of me is a letter. Does that help you see me better? Look very closely and you'll see the hidden letters that spell me. Sometimes letters may repeat to make more eyes or ears or feet, but back to front and upside down, all my letters can be found. All my puppies look the same. It's those three letters that I blame. Can you see the P? Can you see a U? There's another one and another one and another one. And can you see this G? There's a big one there on its side. I'm gentle, loyal, fairly hairy. If spelled correctly, not too scary. Where's the G, do you think? I think I can see the G there in that I. And the E also in the I. R on its side there. Can you see the M in the nose? And all those letters go together to make a German Shepherd. A schnauzer. Me, I like old fashioned script and bubble bath before I'm clipped. The Labradoodle. There's an L, there's an A, there's another A, and another A, and a B. My letters make me so much more than Poodle crossed with Labrador. Oh, a Dachshund. You'll find these letters waddling around about an inch above the ground. Can you see the D and the A? Look at that S. Spell me first, then paint my nails and tie my hair in ponytails. S-H-I-H-T-Z-U, T-Z-U. Smell me smart, smell me sporty. Never ever spell me naughty. Perfect spelling, perfect stance. Best in show, made in France. There's the P, can you see the P and the O? There's an O and there's an O and there's an O and then other O which makes all the curls and the D. Where's the D? It's in the feet. I'm not going to tell you where everything is. You'll have to find it. Oh, this one's a Labrador. These letters spell a brilliant swimmer. Kind and gentle, could be slimmer. He's so cute. Spots are boring. I prefer that letters decorate my fur. Oh, he's a very smart Dalmatian. The Queen of England's favourite breed, neatly spelled, washed and defleed. This little chihuahua. My letters perfectly express complete and utter preciousness. Spaniel, poodle, I'm mixed up. Letters just confuse a pup. Doberman. Can you see the Doberman? There's a D that makes that I and an O and a B and an E. I'm spelled so fierce and pointy-eared, I wonder why I'm so widely feared. My letters spell a small but tough, tightly wound up ball, ball of fluff, Pomeranian. And the Maltese, I'm complicated. Can you see how every letter makes me me? Can you see that M? And there's one M on its side. There's an M straight up. And an A and an L. There's an L. 
Spell me quickly, spell me fast. Spell that other greyhound last. Such glamour in each gorgeous letter. It's true redheads wear letters better. There's an Irish setter. Can you see the R in his nose and the H in the body? I'm neatly spelled in black and white, so I look handsome day and night. The Boston Terrier always looks like he's wearing a suit, doesn't he? Basset Hound. Slowly, I'll just sniff around till all my letters have been found. And the Bulldog. Human beings like to spell me. Closer friends prefer to smell me. And lots of doggy facts on the last page for you to learn some more. And there's some puppies across the back. Thanks for listening.